How to use your Quantum NA controller for models Q6 Edge HD, Q6 Ultra, and Q6 Edge Z. In this tutorial, you will learn how to lock your controller, increase and decrease the speed of your unit, and move your unit. Whether you want to leave your motorized wheelchair outside the store without someone walking, or rather riding off with it, or you want to stop furry friends from accidentally moving your chair, there are many reasons you may wish to lock your Quantum NA controller. First, let's go over the parts of the controller you'll need to be familiar with for this tutorial. We have an on-off button, we have a joystick, we have the LCD screen, then we have the profile increase and profile decrease buttons. Here we go! First, press the on-off button to turn the controller on. The LCD screen should light up. Next, hold the on-off button until you hear a beep. Press the on-off button again, and if there is now a key on the LCD screen, your controller is locked. If not, then you may need to contact your unit's manufacturer, as the unit may not be programmed to lock. To unlock your controller, make sure the controller is on, and then push the joystick forward, towards the LCD screen, until you hear it beep. Then pull it backwards, away from the LCD screen, until you hear it beep. Your controller is now unlocked. To increase the speed of your motorized wheelchair, first make sure the controller is on. Then press the Increase Profile button. This will increase the wheelchair speed by one unit, which will be reflected in the number on the LCD screen. To decrease the speed of your motorized wheelchair, press the Decrease Profile button. This will decrease the wheelchair speed. To move the wheelchair back and forth, make sure the controller is on. Then push the joystick forward to make the unit go forward. Then backwards to make the unit go backwards. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Good luck in your adventures!